it plays a very important role. Uh, as I was saying, not only in cervical cancer, but in, um, but in many other cancers, but specifically here, um, as I would say the key point is the immune system. The immune system is very, very, very complex. It's a system that it's made of cells that have to communicate one with, with others using chemical factors. So um, for them to be able to communicate properly, they have to have certain specific conditions, pH, um, certain uh, chemicals, certain uh, trans, uh, hormones. And if we don't have the necessary uh, base to build them, uh, then it will make that difficult for the immune system to detect an abnormality. So for example, we now know that vegetables are very an excellent source for vitamin C, for vitamin B, for vitamin K, and, and certain other uh, elements like magnesium and potassium, which are very related to the immune response. What happens? That cancer and, and cervical cancer, very specifically, is developing all the time in healthy women. But the immune system is able to detect that very um, early and attacks it and doesn't let him um, develop. So it dies. Uh, but if we don't have the immune system properly tuned with the right food, with the right ingredients for, uh, then it will develop more easily.